Hello my lovelies, um, I am not doing this in a rehearsed way, I had no plans to do a Facebook live stream today, um, but I wanted to uh, I wanted to do a little live stream for you now because I've got a bit of a low energy thing happening um, and I'm really craving some sweet stuff, some sugary stuff. In my mind I'm thinking, hmm, I could pop to the shop and buy a big bar of whole nut and bury my face in it. And what I wanted to prove, basically, is that I don't just use this stuff when I'm tapping with you guys, I use it all the time at home. So this is me quite genuinely tapping for how I am feeling right now in this moment. If you're watching this video back, you can obviously tap along with what I say, because um, it's just something that you can use any time. I guess the reason that I felt compelled to record this for you guys is mainly because we get really caught up in our head, we get caught up in what our brain is telling us and my brain was telling me this morning, oh dear you had an ice cream last night and so you're tired now and that means that you have fallen off the wagon so you may as well just eat a load of rubbish, okay? Um, but. What I think is really important is that EFT gives you the power to say, oh, hang on a minute, why is what's going on with my brain? Why am I suddenly craving um, sugary foods and things? So what I'm going to do now is very honestly tap on exactly how I'm feeling right now. And I wanted to show you that even though you might see videos of me looking all happy and bubbly, and that certainly is me 99% of the time, um, sometimes I do have a lower day, I do have a lower mood, and that's generally when I will try to, well, when I'll need to tap away cravings. All that's happened is that physiologically, my body is recovering from a meal out last night, so I probably have a bit of a salt hangover, a bit of a sugar hangover, um, and rather than making this about me as a person and oh what a failure I am I'm acknowledging the fact that yes my body is probably recovering from that meal out last night and that's okay that's a physical thing but that it has a psychological and emotional impact on me when I feel this way in my body my brain starts to tell me things now I can either listen to those things that my brain is telling me like oh well you may as well just go to the shop and buy some whole nut and go ah, ah, ah. Um, or I can say hmm don't like that, I'm going to do some tapping and figure out if I can clear this just energetically. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a big sip of water because it's really important to remain hydrated when you're tapping. So if you have some water near you, just take a sip now. And then what we're going to do is I'm just going to take a moment and I invite you to do the same. If you're re-watching this and you're not watching it live, that's absolutely fine. Just take a moment now to pause it and um, do the following exercise. So I am just going to close my eyes and I'm just going to check in with my body right now. Just going to take a moment and see. So I've kind of got, when I think about my body now, I've got like this feeling, you probably hear I've got a bit of a croaky hit bit of a croaky throat but I can also it feels like a kind of a bluey grey mist here that might sound really abstract so uh, if you're feeling like that doesn't make any sense to you that's totally fine don't worry about it just tap on that so here okay even though I have this bluey grey mist in my chest and it feels like quite heavy energy and on a scale of 0 to 10 it's about 5 intensity I'm okay and I accept myself anyway even though I've got this blue mist in my chest I'm okay and I accept myself anyway even though I have this blue mist in my chest I'm okay and I accept myself anyway this blue mist this blue mist in my chest. Well, it feels a bit sad. So this sad blue mist in my chest. This sadness in my chest. This sadness in my chest. This blue sadness. This misty blue in my chest. This misty blue in my chest. This sad misty blue. 
Now, at this point, um, I know what this is connected to now because a memory has popped up. And it's actually to do with, this is how EFT works, people. It's this random and this bizarre um, our memory has popped up. And it's to do with my next door neighbour who sadly passed away um, a few weeks ago now, maybe even just over a month ago. And she was a lovely lady and she lived right next door. And when I look out this window, I can see where I used to see her watering her flowers. Um, and so that gives me a really good idea of the fact that this energy this sadness that I'm feeling that's making me want to go and eat right now it's actually more to do with the fact that um, there's probably a little bit of grief a little bit of sadness in there um, and some stuff that now I know it's not a mystery anymore so I'm no longer a failure hooray you know and this is how easy tapping is this is what it does it gives you that clarity on what the problem really is so now, in the privacy of my own living room, I'm not going to share this bit with you because there might be bubbly snot crying and quite frankly, I'm not ready to take our relationship to that level just yet. Um, but now that I know what the problem is, I can just go away and do a little bit more tapping around um, my feelings on that situation. So I hope that this has been helpful. I know it might seem a little peculiar for me to have just jumped on at random like this, but I hope that if there's any of you out there watching, gives you a little bit of an insight into how peculiar, how magical, um, and how fascinating our brains are. The fact that this loss happened well over a month ago. Um, some people would say she's just your neighbor, but she was more than that to myself and um, my little family in my home. So, yeah, so that makes perfect sense now. So now I know where to go with it. So just remember that when you are having those food cravings, just do a tiny little bit of tapping. Just watch this video. It's just a few minutes long. And follow what I did. And replace it with your words, with your feelings. Pause at any time you need to. And just remember that if any memories pop up while you're tapping, all you need to do is just take a moment and remember what it is that's bothering you. You don't have to go back into the memory, just have an awareness of, oh, okay, so it's because that person passed away or um, because somebody said something mean to me and upset me. And just focus on that as kind of an object almost, like it's over there. And then just do the exercise that I've just done with you. So taking a deep breath, checking in, what colour is it, what shape is it? And then do the tapping, just like I did, um, and then check back in at the end and see how you're feeling. And really, the magic happens when you just keep going, just keep tapping. If tears come, they come. If anger comes, it comes. That's fine. Don't worry. If laughter comes, sometimes laughter will happen, even when we're dealing with something quite tragic, um, because it's actually just a shift in energy. So just honour whatever emotions come up while you're tapping, and just keep tapping until they pass and you feel better. So I hope this has been vaguely helpful to anyone out there who has no idea where to even start with tapping. Okay, have a great Saturday. Bye.